Hi everybody, this is my review of the Ultimate Sewing Box by Ultimate Scrap Box. This is an online website that you can order these huge um, storage cabinets for big supplies. They all fold up kind of like bookshelves that fold onto themselves and form a box. So you can go to their website and check them out. They're super, super expensive. Mine cost about $3,000 by the time I got it here. And I've had it about a year, and this is my review of what I don't like about this box and what I totally regret about it and how I feel it's overpriced, and you're going to see. So I've had it about a year. It was a pain in the butt to put together. I'm going to go into my sewing room so we don't have to just look at this door, and you can actually see what it looks like now after a year. And as you can see, that's one of the cabinets that has decided to collapse and come apart. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to show you the rest of the box in the sew my sewing room. So this is the ultimate sewing box with a light. And as a matter of fact, I'll turn on the light because the light actually is really cool. There are some things I like about it, um, but there's a lot I don't like about it. So basically, now that I have it open, you can kind of see it has legs roof and this table comes down right here and there's more storage behind it you have all these great shelves shelves here and my brother dream machine sewing machine which does not fit I don't think any modern sewing machine would fit on this I think an old old singer might fit on it it has like a sewing container right there so I'll start with a horror story this box comes in millions of pieces in a giant flat that is delivered on the street in front of your house and we have a two-story house with stairs down we live in the country so it was a pain pulling it all up the instructions are terrible how to put it together the um yeah the there's videos online which we had to watch over and over and over to catch even the smallest details because a lot of the details are left out um Overall, it's such a great idea. It's such a great idea. It's so badly done. Um, so this is like one wing that's attached, as you can see, and it folds in. You can see the kind of the line right here and the brackets right here. That actually folds in here. This table comes up, it folds in. You have to, of course, take the sewing machine out, off, and put it somewhere, which defeats the whole damn purpose, even though that part right there is like a old-fashioned sewing machine opening this whole thing literally should have been designed uh, better the legs have already broken off they're actually this is actually sitting on the legs and Patrick has later gone gonna reattach these the brackets are so weak and the wood quality is so bad for three thousand dollars it's just it's terrible now this part I'm gonna keep because it's so far it's holding together. Hopefully it doesn't fall on my brother's sewing machine because though this box was $3,000 by the time it was delivered, this sewing machine is about four times the cost of this entire box. So if this box falls on the sewing machine, we're gonna have a serious problem. Um, but so far it's holding up. Patrick's gonna re be reattaching the legs right here. Um, and then normally this side of the box has another wing like this attached to it and it has wheels on the bottom underneath um, kind of under there their wheels which do not roll on carpet they don't roll on carpet so and this carpet is a low low industrial carpet those wheels do not roll we adjusted them adjusted them adjusted them don't roll and instead they splinter the wood and crack off on carpet um, and this is what happened here. And the cat, our cat likes it. He's like, this is a toy. This is the back of the box. And if you zoom in here, we're going to see that this is their amazing invention for, for attaching the box to these little red pieces of crap pl plastic. Bad design. Bad. If I was going to do it again... And this defeats the whole purpose of paying $3,000 for a box. These, I would put wood glue in, and then I would drill screws all the way down the sides that attached to here. 
because, and you can see the quality of the pressed wood, pressed wood, $3,000 pressed wood, giant waste of money. And this one, of course, is coming out, so now I have to, and these are all the little shelves, and that's the table. So I'm going to try to rescue this and mount it to this wall here and use that as a sewing table too. Um, but this, I just thought I'd give an, a review, an honest review because all the reviews online are paid for ads for this garbage. And I'm telling you right now, it, it's a good idea. Some of it, like this part, I love. I love, oh, and I love the plastic. Actually, I'm gonna come in here and show you these. I love these plastic containers that they have. Those, they do really well. They're really well made. They're fantastic. Um, they hold a lot of stuff. Um, in the first couple months, when it was up, and all this was organized, it's not organized now. Everything's a mess because it decided to fall apart. So I ripped everything out um, to try to frantically figure out how I can save my $3,000 investment and use it somehow. Um, I did complain to Ultimate Box, uh, Scrap Box, and they were super apologetic. I said the parts weren't marked, the instructions were terrible, things fall apart, one piece splintered. Um, they sent me replacement plastic boxes, which nothing happened to the boxes, it was the wood. And they actually gave me a choice, and so I picked, I don't even remember, but I picked some silly little box. So... But that box probably cost a dollar to make, and the wood, who knows. Um, but this is my honest review, and um, you know they, they have good customer service, I will say that. Um, there's no way you're going to send this ever back. There's not going to be a refund, because how are you going to get these thousands of pounds of wood back to them without sending them on a flat? And that's what, how it would arrive at your house. You would have to take it all apart put it on a flat and ship it back to them. Really? That's not going to happen ever to any of their customers. They know it. And um, I just feel ripped off and sad. And actually I had a really, I kind of had a meltdown yesterday and Patrick counseled me. He said, let's figure out how to fix it. We'll, we'll draw, drive in belts. We'll redo the table legs. I mean, anytime basically I rolled this box, the whole idea is that it can roll around the room. And that, then you open it up and fold it up. And I don't even want to roll it anywhere because when you roll it, the legs splinter off. The rolling, I mean the rolling legs, these splintered off just because it shifted and it began to fall over on me, which would have been lovely because that would have been the end of me. And luckily I paid attention and I saw the top of the sewing box coming down. Since we live in earthquake territory, I would say anyone in California, anyone that lives anywhere that there's an earthquake, you wouldn't want to buy this because it's a death wish. So this has to all be attached to the wall for sure. Um, but this is my problem now. And after having my meltdown yesterday, I'm like, okay, today I'm going to refresh myself. I'm going to take some deep breaths. I have thread all over the floor. All the supplies, of course, have collapsed. Luckily, I was in here when it started to collapse and I saw it and the back came off and Patrick came in and we took the wheels off and thought okay well it doesn't sit flat without the support of the other side of the box but overall the other side of the, see these cubes <laughs> these are like super cheap from you can get them at Ikea we got them on Amazon I think we got three sets cheap cheap quality will last forever it hold it's holding hundreds of pounds of books and comic books and collectibles and DVDs and I think there's a silhouette up there. Um, we have wall mounted ones holding um, our collectibles on the walls. There's one back there that holds a bunch of stuff. They have outlasted this, which cost what a uh, hundred times more than that. So. My desire, yesterday I was like, how do I resolve this? Do I just scrap this and throw all this wood away? Give it to someone and say, hey, make something out of it because it, it's a piece of crap. Or, and then just go buy more of these and do my sewing room with just these kind of Ikea cubes. And I'm like, uh, I'm still thinking about it, but I'm gonna try one last ditch to rescue this. 
and mount it to that wall without rolling legs, put down the table permanently, keep it open, and hopefully it will serve its purpose and everything will be fine. So that's my review. Sorry, sorry for the bad news. I'm sure if you watch Ultimate Sewing Box reviews on YouTube, you're gonna see wonderful ones. Everyone's super dressed up. It was so easy to put together. Yeah, no, not so much. It took about three days to put this together with two people. And it was uh, so frustrating that I can't even tell you how bad it was. That's my review. Thanks. Bye.